Okay, guys. I ran into a car accident in the middle of an intersection. What the hell, John? The lobby. I don't care about here. your excuses. Welcome back to the Venice series. We now know what our old friend Spain is doing after we worked so closely with them to get rid of Aragon. Noticing that the partition of India is beginning now, I actually approached Spain and asked him if I could take part in this. This would be a very interesting route to go down as we go into the mid game and we get hopefully close to forming Italy. It would be very strong for us and good to continue our relationship with Spain. But then he told me he has to go and consult with a group chat as other people involved in this. And they all said no. And there's no way I'm going to force myself into this partition without the consent of the other people in it. That won't go very far. Who are these other people? Is he working with Scandinavia now? So after being rejected from the partition group chat, I did the very nice thing and I warned the Mughal Empire about the partition group chat. I told them Spain is not the only one going in and he needs to prepare. There's not much I can do to actually help him, but I can give him some information and advice. Now that he knows this is coming, surely he won't put his army unfunded on the enemy border. So back in Europe, two very large vacancies have been filled, but first I need to correct something about the diplomacy between the PLC and Russia that I missed in the last part. From what I saw and heard, I thought that the Peskov rebels in Poland-Lithuania had won due to a scale issue from Poland-Lithuania, but he actually let them win. He allowed the last thing that Muscovy needed to form Russia to go free in exchange for Russia being friendly with the PLC and taking the southern expansion route instead. Very interesting. So that's why Russia was talking about taking the southern expansion route in the last part, although he still hasn't selected his expansion route. This deal of course has the backing of Scandinavia and with the Ottomans on the way out it makes sense. This was a very good short term move for Muscovy being able to form Russia while only making promises about what he's going to do in the future in return. But now the thing that you all want to know, who is taking over the dual monarchy? As the drunken Greenforce abdicates from this country, which he also played in my Scandinavia series, he is replaced by another veteran of that series. Knowing full well that the dual monarchy still has a decision to completely ruin my campaign, I am immediately very friendly with him. I explain the situation of the dual monarchy so far, I tell him that we've been allies, which is true. And some people actually ask, does the AI take that decision to construct Italy? Well, yes it does. In fact, when you load up the save in single player, it does it immediately. You can't even see it happen. But thankfully the AI never did play the dual monarchy. And if they did, and they did construct Italy, I'd be asking for a rehost faster than they constructed Italy. Greenforce's final little escapade into Ethiopia that Scandinavia joined, that was reverted in the saves that never actually happened. So it actually gives our new dual monarchy player a chance to do things properly. And even though he was having a good campaign, Fat Guy is no longer playing Ethiopia. He's gone not because he got partitioned, just out of a lack of reliability. So when our new DM takes over, he sees the situation and he knows he needs allies against Scandinavia and Burgundy if he is to turn this situation around and make a comeback. And with Venice coming in, telling him I need this feelings to form Italy being very friendly, it seems that it's inevitable that we will work together again. There's a new wave of enthusiasm about a potential dual monarchy comeback and I'm more than willing to work with him and make it happen. After my failure to form Italy in the last session, I've decided to reverse my policy of waiting to become a great power and take a more active approach to forming Italy. Even if it means using a bit of infamy to puppet or annex these Italian miners, we need to do it. We have to form Italy and we can do it very quickly if we do it right. Right, look, right. the infamy exchange is going to be this. I want you to minor conquest on Toscana, please. Etruria. Okay. You've given up on being a GP for it? Yeah. Once you've done, come to my channel to, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna form Italy in the next two years, hopefully. Look at Scandi again, joining an American war just so he doesn't get declared on, of course. Scandi is helping GC. Why are you suiciding your armies, Fant? I'm getting them out. Is he 
in the chat even? Yes, yes. he is. Um, yeah. Christ, yeah, just, just, decline. Decline. Oh, yeah. just choose one, okay? Onions, do, you, do you have it? Onions. That's the question. Do they even have the crisis? Onions. <laughs> yeah, they do. Onions. They're just they're just holding it like. What do you want? What do you want? Oh. Dude? Fuck. Wait, oh. what? <laughs> Are you serious? Are you retarded? Wait, did, you want me, did you want me to decline that? Make decline. your own decisions. No, the no, DM Bohemia right. Alliance is doing great here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the Onions, are you crazy? <laughs> just enforce the demand on him, okay. Can you just remove, like, remove crises, holy shit, Potat. Spudgun, <laughs> why did you name you that Army Giano Dinner? Because that's <laughs> the inverse of John Cena. C Cena means dinner in Italian, and Giano is John. <laughs> John Dinner. <laughs> oh, 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 that can't okay. Based, based. Based, 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 based. Alright, who has he got joining his side? That's the question. Looks like Poland. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, what? Damn, son. Like Alright, make it Venice. Oh, Don't join Hungary. Don't join Hungary. See who's got one on his side. Because if it's Poland, you can stay out and I'll just beat him myself or something. Okay, join it, Hungary. Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I'll join too. I'll join too. The hug box alarm has been sounded. Just get your John Cena in Bucharest. Here, attack this one with me, Weevil. He's going down in flames, which I can respect. I love him. Falmez. Falmez. This is a Speed 2 war, I don't know about the American war. Why Scandinavia is mobilized? Look at Vinland. He actually mobilized for that. Auto surrendered. Yeah, yeah. Let's get out of the battles. I might take the islands to clean up that border. Do Often. I take Dobruja for the nice border, or Bulgaria for the pops? Bulgaria. Okay. I'm leaving a core on Turkey so I can truce break him. That's all the war score now, I think. You can send everything. We're about to see Italy, boys. Ah, oh, boy, that's... Yep, yep, there it is, uh -oh. there it is. It's all ogre. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Anyway! Hey, congratulations, okay? Thank you. All my factories are closed, lads. Let's do it. Italy! Italy was Right, now I'm taking fucking Sicily then. And Liguria. A hundred and Burgundy if Burgundy joins. Virtual Rock, please demob. Just after I declared on Aragon, they got the event to annex me. Yeah, no, I'm gonna stay fine, man. Like they lost their CB. Who lost their CB? That Usman. <laughs> Get fucked. That's his own fault for waiting so long. Marksman fail, marksman fail. Cope about it, marksman. Cope it, cope, cope. Cope about it. Yeah, let's go declare war in Italy for containment CB. So yeah, I just need reactionary rebels, please. I can't be this type of government. Yeah. Military advice, please. I'm not supposed to attack Spain and Japan, right? If your army's cavalry, then yeah, you need to, because they're offensive units. I would oh, attack okay. Hoshgen Anabad when they move in there. It's your only chance. Yeah, 3.7 attack, 1.7 defense, at least with my team. Sorry, my uh, internet suddenly cut out and cut back in. Uh, what should John Cena? What <laughs> I Jung Wo? Oh, Japan declared. Oh, I was going to say stay out of Hoshnagunabad and attack them when they move into it. That's what you should do. Yeah, you're right. You're going to get out first. You should fine. reinforce Dar because it's a hill, I guess. Your best defense general. You have no leader in it, man. You can micro-pause just to get a fucking leader in that. Okay? Deck Venice. Alright All right, then. Venice doesn't exist. My boys don't have infamy, Dan. And... I'm still going to join it. Alright, cool. In that case, let's go kill his armies. Alright, I guess Plant Virginia wants his thingy. Uh... I need to be at peace to accept the Romanians, goddammit. 
At least I farmed Italy before he choose broke on me, right? Uh, get around. Yeah. He's got a fucking five attack, Jesus Christ. Definitely gonna want to attack him then. He rolled zero. He rolled zero. He rolled zero, yeah. Is the Nubia a player? Yeah. So how is that the one we won? Yeah, this is not a 1v1. What? What war? So where is Russia? What the fuck is this? The war against... I didn't even know this was happening. Loco, you know you're, uh... No, never mind. Huh? That's ominous. You should probably mobilize, dude. And ATW, you should probably Unless mobilize. you are a retard. You should probably Ooh. mobilize Russia. Based. Yeah, what the fuck? You're literally throwing right now. So what are you doing? Uh, Onion told me this is a 1v1 and then they all join against them. The moment you see that's not fuck? happening, you click mobilize. And you're yeah, you are you fucking stupid or something? <laughs> you're Jesus. actually uh, do, do I want to save Onions now? Because he literally just did some stupid shit that I told him was going to happen. I, I oh, my oh my god! Oh my god! That's so loud. What's wrong with you? Please turn your microphone I, down. I can't hear it all. This could have been prevented so easily. You should no, probably announce to join Russia. Who's backstabbing who? Oh, the noob. Uh, oh. And backstabbing. Yeah. Right. No another yeah. fucking Bohemian yeah, L this campaign. Lose another war for you guys again, though? Another Bohemian L. It never ends. What are your peace terms? My peace terms? My yeah. peace terms are, uh, I don't know. Would you accept white peace? That's a big gain for you. I would oh. not accept white peace. Hey, by the way, you fucking chain warred us. There's rules against that in this group, you know? You can't just, uh... Oh! How yeah. do you lose? <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I'm interpreting it that way for the purposes of this rule argument. I oh, committed so the ultimate sin, I pulled out my fucking attack general like a retard. Yeah, DM, yep. Are you gonna be able to help? I'm actually afraid I'm not because I'm really busy with shit and my economy's trash. Things have taken a different turn because the Ottomans declared on me. Why can't you provide some military aid? I don't know, I mean, look at the situation. Look, we're at war right now. Bohemia's blowing him out of the water! Vision. Dude, Bohemia just rolled nines in both battles. <laughs> I believe in the Onions comeback. W will this be an Onions W for once? Well, so much for Bohemia, he got encircled and wiped. The fucking Danubians got, uh, caught up on Rebels. He might get the month. Bohemian's gonna get the month tick. He got the month tick. Yeah, but that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Really? It just means more of his people die. Dude, seriously though, like, what is Loco doing? He's joined this war, but he's like, he literally left the British Isles open. Burgundy isn't in the war, and his troops are sitting in Occitania. Why does this stupid alliance keep getting stupider? Tarek, why aren't you occupying Anatolia? I don't know where his army is, and uh... It's in Anatolia! It's in Anatolia. But I'm there. There's literally nothing to be afraid of. You have a bigger army with Cock, better tech. the only thing to fear is fear itself. Come on. Oh, <laughs> so true, so true. The only you thing to do is dooming itself. Oh, dude, you're, you're blowing them the fuck out of the mountain, dude! Yeah. Here's what we're going to do to the Ottomans. We're going to attack them in two battles. One of the battles will have my five attack. The other battle will have my other five attack. And then your third battle will be just John Cena. Yeah. If it comes to that. Well, I've lost my mountains, guys. Holy shit. Loco yeah. joined a war just to surrender. <laughs> Very nice. We will be able to force peace Turkey by just sieging him more. His army's up in the northeast. We don't ne necessarily need to attack it. Hey, uh... Weevil, if I sphere you, I can create Yugoslavia out of you. How does that feel? <laughs> I'm coping, Spuggy, I'm coping. Just in the same way Local had a, an albatross around my neck. Anyway, declaring on Genoa, 100 in Local if he joins. You got it in VC, right? That counts. Yeah. I don't even know why he did it, considering um, he was in the start of a five-year truce. <laughs> no, there's a smart thing yeah, about it, which is blocking our infamy reduction. 
we can't really take anything. Anyone else to join? However, Kark, let's look at your infamy. You're on 21. Is I think you can add one. Do the math. 21. I'm on 21.5. If right you now. add one CB, you'll go exactly to 32.5. Wait another month, Tech, before you add anything. We'll give him a little bit more time. I'm gonna take uh, North Kurdistan. How much infamy do I have to give you spot before you save me? That would involve me going against Scandinavia, which he, he beats me in Europe with his navy, so... And everyone's like, ah, eh, Scandinavia. I mean, I, I understand, but... Well, definitely me. He occupy my islands. War score 74%. I did North Kurdistan. Well, if you want to attack him, I'll bring my five attack over. Nation ruining behavior, Virtual Rock. Nation ruining behavior. Don't be too hard on him. Like, <laughs> you guys are, like, seal clubbing him right now. He decked the war. If Moogle like, surrenders the now, then the others can't join. Oh, yeah, you're... Well, Who are the others you're talking about? GC and, um, Zwaru. Those cucks wanna fucking eat into India? Yeah, oh, they're, they're, literally, they're literally joining to infamy slave. Surrender before they join. Do they get to join the war and add? They can't. They can't, okay. Listen, local, what's the plan? What's happening anyway? I'm building up, I'll be ready to join a war soon. Yeah, listen, so my, this is my plan. Local's still gonna do a Before game surrendering, game. I'm gonna deck on Burgundy and you're gonna join and it's a 2v1 because Candy's gonna be blocked, okay? I have Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, sure, 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 you can have it. I don't have the infamy for it, but whatever. You ready? Are we doing it now? I'll yes, fucking move into my country I'll right now. You, dude. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The Sambo General is moving to my country. It's gonna be an easy two v one, cause you know. Hey, okay. Hey. Should I declare? I'm gonna declare, and you're gonna you're gonna get in, okay? Hey, Loco, shut I'm the ready. fuck up. They sent me the peace. They sent me the peace. Tell me when don't, to click don't, it. Don't don't accept. I'm holding the peace. Do you have money to give me, Loco? By any chance? Of course. Yeah, yeah. Proceed. By the way, Loco, I've got two five attacks. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be huge. Alright, get in, 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 get in. I'm in. Nice. Let's move in, let's move in. Alright. <laughs> yeah, you can have anything you want. I just want my cores back or whatever. I'm moving out. I can't face his armies right now. I need to assemble mine. He's attacking you, Loco. He's attacking you. Why can't we yeah, move I think 15 I'm gonna let that army go. 19. I still have all my fucking cores. You're just sacrificing? Yeah, just reinforce it if you want. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna sacrifice that army. Okay. All right, spud gun. I got the uh, I got the stalemate started. Oh, there's a stalemate, of course. Forgot about that shit. See me, I was thinking about just using you know the game mechanics instead of rules. I was too narrow minded. Well, I can't. We can't stab peace. So like. Why, right, spud gun? Just pour into my country and occupy important positions in Switzerland, like everywhere. He's attacking the mountain, actually. He's attacking Annecy. That's good. That's good. Let him do that. You just get John Cena. Oh my god, there's some there's German miners fucking moving into my country. Fuck. He stopped. He stopped. Yeah, he wants to he 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 does he can only do with the uh the big stack, you see? He wanted to catch me. But I'm not gonna let him. Look, but why are all your armies on the coastline? Are you surrendering? No, Are it's peace? okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be okay. peace uh spoken for uh for no, no. Keeping a core on you, Virtual Rock. Keeping a core. I deck on DM to join this war with Merge War Score because DM only. Isn't that, isn't no, that chain no, warring? No, that's chain, it's that's that's chain warring, no. and you are not allowed. No, fuck no, you. You can't no, no, deck no, no, on no. someone already in it. Spam bot, spam bot, spam bot. Spam bot, spam bot, spam bot. Let him explain, bro, let him explain. Bro, bro, spam bro, spam bro, bro. Last time, Burgundy joined the American war to get out of. The European war. That was, yeah, that argument, was a right? special exception. A special exception, my ass. And I should have a special exception here. I should no, have no, no. How is this a special exception? Alright, 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 alright. Dempsey, 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 let me say this. If Burgundy wanted a truce with the DM, he should have joined your war. Yeah. He couldn't. He was truce with the DM and Russia when well, Russia joined the European war. The I'll war. prove the difference oh, to you, oh. which is that your war with America was designed to get out of being decked on. This is an actual war. Well, no, 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 no. Because well, he's escaping my CB because I was justifying a CB on him. I have it right now. Well, you're too slow. No, no. No, he decked no, up Burgundy can't. to get out. He joined the Bohemian War with no actual ability to fight it. He did it to get out of it. Oh, we want it. No, no, he was actually... No, that, no we were going to fight No, that. that was not the case. That it was, was Ben's then. fault for not joining No, we were the actually going to fight that, but when Dinobio DM joined. Back, like, backstab me. Yeah, Ben could have defensive call joined. Yeah. 
Here's the deal. My army is garbage compared to the Burgundian army because he has like the order and I have the equality, so he has more uh, experience and shit. It's like, not really that big of a difference, dude. Major the national values of, of Reno Mod aren't in this. The major difference is he has like two more mob size than you. We also have a skill difference. <laughs> Loco, I swear to God, you're gonna be like, no, I can't fight him. No, Italy, one v one Burgundy. So I was trapped yeah. here. You outnumber him three to one. Just fucking right click on him. Shut the Calm fuck down. up, okay? We know, we know, we know. Okay, I actually want to win. He, what he tried to do is to catch us. He didn't succeed. So right now, his time is playing in our favor. What yeah. I want, what would be the ideal situation, is to lure him out, lure him out to siege or something, because I want to hit him with the dead stag. I don't think he will, so I think we we will eventually just have to start moving into his country slowly. He set up for big attacks, for big blow attacks, so what we should try to do, Spadgan, is to bait him. Like, I'm gonna bait him with like 30k mobos, he gonna jump on that, then he gonna defeat okay. it, and then I'm gonna hit his offensive units with my offensive units, which would be a KO. Does he, he like, have offensive units? You bring, I'll just use my 5 journal, I'm using normal yeah. units, alright. You can start moving into like Bourgogne. The problem is that even in if Paris. he hits me there. I'm moving to Leon, I move my John Cena. If he attacks that, we can reinforce and probably win. Alright, Burgundy is moving into my planes. Alright, in the north, okay. I'll bring stacks over and I'll put my five attack in and all that. Yeah, okay, he's retreating from Laon. We have to hit him now wherever we can. He's moving another stack to Lyon. I think he's going to attack Leon. What should we do, dude? Move your army up and we'll hit him in the, around Paris, in that region. Around Paris? That's where he where he's sieging, in plains. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's go. He is retreating from these mountains completely, from Switzerland. My five attack is on the stack that's moving north into your land. Right okay, now. once it gets to the forest, just click him to Le Mans, okay? You just hit him? So yeah, I hit him, but I, I need your yeah. 5 general because my general wasn't good. Yeah, he's not reinforcing that you with You don't anything. need a 5, a 4 is fine. He's got nothing there, it's just a quick wipe. Oh my god, we should hit Evreux after that. Um. Oh wait, did Virtuarch? Yeah, Virtua Virtua yeah, okay. Oh, Virtuarch is on Incas now. I go Evreux, 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 Evreux. No Turkey, okay. Yeah, Ottomans is AI now. I have hit it, I've hit it. You're going to intercept him, yeah. Coming, that Shitalian. Italian, sorry. He's moving troops up north around uh, into Normandy. He's gonna reinforce the follow up. Yeah, battle. that's good, that's good. Then it's good. We caught him, we caught him on planes, uh, on the offensive, and we are the, on the offensive. Just send him. I move into Paris. Yeah, I became a great Ooh, power right uh, now. He wants Sphered. Uh, I want Dalmatia, but. <laughs> I'll Sphere you first. Right, follow up to Beauvais, oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, where's the. Oh, I'm out of space. Beauvais. Beauvais. Let's go, Beauvais. Let's go, Beauvais. Just you need catch bring him. more Just troops. Him. Bring more troops. Your general is prioritized over mine. 4 3. He's turning in circle. He's turning in circle. Oh my god, do you see those casualty spawn? Oh! 10, 11, 12k. 12k. <laughs> trying to encircle. Don't let him encircle. Don't let him encircle. This is not an encirclement. He's losing the battle. It's fine. Hit, go to Paris. Go to Paris. He is actually encircling you. He's trying yeah, to but it doesn't matter. We're, we're winning all round. Reinforce Evru, he's attacking Evru. I'm gonna come in and circle fucking him. My general isn't being allowed to take over, so I'm <laughs> you cycling You literally around. got yourself encircled. It's not. Open up the south here. He's attacking south. I hit him by accident! Oh, fucking hell! He attacked Shadow. Oh my god, Fine. that... Bohemia, don't want to hear you. Still Although he's actually here. attacking uh, Mela. It's fine though. Just he's still a Mela. massive like, brigade advantage, he should just be able to win this. Are we going to retreat from this? Yeah, I Too bad, I got stack wiped. Yeah, me too, it's okay. Oh, now I you attack that, and he's attacking me here. They're like Hoi 4 players, all they do is like click around you and encircle you. Dude, this is so bad right now. Yeah, it is. Pretty bad. Dude, you lo oh my god. Alright, just Fine. let's move everything up there. Who fell in whose trap? <laughs> He's overextending. You need to retreat out of Paris, dude. You need to retreat out of Paris. Yeah, yeah you do. Stuff. You can't retreat out of Paris. Stop giving false advice. What should we do here? I'm going into Chartres. We can hold that. My John Cena, in fact, is going in. Yours is already in it. So whatever, but...
bleed them out in these battles, you know. Alright, I'm gonna send some infantry. Okay, I'm actually gonna be falling back from my land, it's going terribly. I'm gonna sacrifice. We need to layer a retreat out of my land here, okay? You're now at equal brigades, roughly. No, you get you you get out, but my troops are gonna stay there and die. I'm okay. I mean, I'm slowly retreating out of it, sort of, you know, to try and let some of them live. Oh, he got five k. He's doing a meme encirclement. My five k. It's all right though. I'm getting back out of that one. Just pull back. Just pull back and reinforce. Let him overextend. So when this last one gets stuck, wait, he can't hit anything else. We just let him, let him go and occupy, let him siege, do what he wants. Loco, this isn't me like trying to like make you feel bad for what you did in the past. This is like advice for the future. When somebody yeah, dude, like we fucked up, we fucked up, we fucked I, Loco, up. you're not listening to me. When I I'm telling you that in the future, when somebody gives you advice, you need to like listen to it. What was your advice again? To don't cover you, to stop going into that because your flanks were open and you were getting encircled. Now you don't even have the brigades to out reinforce him on an defensive war. EB. Half the problem here is my fucking miltech. I can't hold my own against Burgundy. Well, it should have been DM carrying this war anyway, dude. Well, what's the it's brigade? Got me on 111. I got double the DM's yeah, brigade. Now. I'm rebuilding now. Just let me rebuild. Dude. I'm the fucking main man in this war now. I've got double Loco's brigade count. I'm gonna. Ra if you guys lose this war, I'm gonna rage quit the campaign. Shut up. <laughs> Italy, move back to Italy. <laughs> I moved to the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right. <laughs> You're all right. Fight to the last man. Yeah. I'll do all the war analysis for that war when it's over. There is a lot more to analyse, a lot happened in this episode. First of all, I did it, I formed my map, but it's not that big a deal because you pretty much saw I was going to form Italy by about episode 2. We formed Italy as Venice, we have an Italy that has cores on Greece and Greek accepted. At the start of the year 1854, our Italy has a population of 8.19 million. Of those, 6.46 million are accepted pops, which you can see on the pie chart. And this really gives you a view of what having the Greeks means for our Italy. It's just a nice boost. It's an extra 10% accepted pops. It's nothing spectacular, but it's very nice. I had no idea about this at the time, but after building up to my brigade count as Italy, I actually have the largest professional army in Europe. Bigger than Russia, the PLC, Danubian, Bohemia, DM, everyone. But it really doesn't feel like that considering I'm behind on military tech and I do not have the industry to supply this army. Luckily an interventionist party won the elections in Italy so I could actually reopen and subsidise all those factories that Bohemia and the DM had previously built in Venice. So for now things aren't that bad although no one built any small arms. I might just be able to get through this current war okay in terms of military production. But the future is very uncertain as the people might get more likely to vote for a liberal laissez-faire party. I don't have any commerce techs, half my country has no railroads and the other half is only level 1. My free trade party doesn't allow me to raise my tariffs very far. And having one of the biggest armies in the world is very expensive. So that's why my economy is doing badly in terms of making money. So now that we've completed our first two objectives of the campaign, we have to reassess what are our goals going to be now going forward. Well the good thing about this position is that we have the luxury of choice, we can choose what our goals are. There aren't any existential threats anymore so we aren't forced into one path, although I do need to finish painting the map in Anatolia and finish off the AI Ottoman Empire. But there's so many different options, do we betray Hungary and start eating him? I could have turned on the dual monarchy and sealed their fate, killing them once and for all. Do I send troops to go and help Plantaginia to become Arcadia, which would guarantee me going into an overseas conflict with Scandinavia that I cannot win. If I had planned a bit earlier I might have been able to get into the India partition. A lot of players at this point would have just sat back, maybe gotten some colonies and not done much. 
but you know that's not me. As you can see, I have been drawn into another conflict in support of the dual monarchy against Burgundy. In a way, I didn't actively plan for this to happen, although I do think it's a good decision, for some reasons that I'll get into later. It just sort of happened because it was the natural direction I was going in and I didn't really steer away from it. And when the new DM player came on, I had to be friendly with him and tell him that I was going to join him. Because there was a bit of a meta thing going on between me and the dual monarchy player Loco. Only one week before this session, a campaign ended that he and I were both in together. Now, only those of you who know really know why this matters. Those of you who don't know, I will simply explain it. It was a brutal rivalry and it got really heated in that campaign. And in order to actually start doing Diplo with him on his new role as the dual monarchy, I had to unblock him on Discord. But I think it's a really good thing. It goes to show how both of us were mature. We moved on. And I know I'm not really keeping track of the bingo card so well anymore, but there is this one, so-called Meta Enemies Ally. And I wasn't really sure what that meant, but now I realise Loco and I were Meta Enemies from a previous campaign and we allied each other in this campaign. That's what it means. Just when we thought this campaign couldn't get any more complicated, we saw the beginnings in the last episode of the Conquest of India, another subplot we have to keep track of. It's very nearby to the Chinese subplot, and while Japan's waiting for his truce to expire with Qing after the crazy events of the last part, he decides to conquer India. The Qing Empire, which is now actually being played by the original Taiping Heavenly Kingdom player, is now just freely annexing all the land of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom, building up research points from that and getting very close to westernisation. 70% in 1854. So the Mughal Empire put up a good fight. I don't think he ever could have hoped to win, even without all the mistakes he did make. And even after all the years he had to build up, you just can't match the European and Japanese tech. So Japan was the only one able to actually take anything out of this because Spain was on a huge amount of infamy. That's the reason they also wanted to try and call in the infamy slaves Gran Colombia and Zorao. Spain, Japan and the infamy slaves might have actually had a good case to argue this rule, that they should be allowed to join the war and add the stuff they were going to. I can't remember but I think I've actually seen it enforced this way somewhere under these rules before. Anyway, I can hardly speak. I've got my own infamy slave, good old trusty Plantagenia. I gave him my Florida region in exchange for him helping me farm Italy. I was going to have to give up Athesia one way or the other, so I might as well use it in exchange for something useful. And something useless is Bohemia. This Central European war in which Bohemia lost again was just the most ridiculous one so far. He got himself into a 3v1 situation. Supposedly he had guarantees from the Danubians and Scandinavia that they would not join. But the new player on the Danubians makes his first move and Scandinavia joins too. Our new dual monarchy player is confused at the situation, he doesn't know what's been going on, and now people are asking him to join a war to help Bohemia that he can't do anything in. But the key thing about this war was Russia, and this is mired in some very, very complicated diplomacy. And it involves at least three backstabs. It goes back to that clarification I had to make at the start of the video where Poland-Lithuania allowed Russia to form in exchange for him going the southern route. It turns out from the information I have from the players in the game that Russia never intended to honour this deal. He always intended to backstab Poland-Lithuania and take the western expansion route. He never took the southern expansion route. You can see it in the previous video when he's talking about taking the southern expansion route. I click on the diplomat mode and look at the cores he has. Those are just the normal cores Russia gets down there. So Russia and Bohemia are planning that war against the PLC where Russia backstabs them. It's going to be a great move. Bohemia is going to get Silesia back. Russia is going to go in and get his western expansion root cores against Poland. But wait a minute, what is Bohemia doing? He's going off and making his own deal. He's trying to get an agreement where he can 1v1 Poland-Lithuania. And it seems like he's got it. He's got assurances from the Danubians and Scandinavia that they wouldn't join if he attacked Poland. So anyway, Bohemia declares war on Poland-Lithuania only for Silesia and the Danubians and Scandinavia both join against him. And now you know why Russia was particularly annoyed at Bohemia when this war was happening. But Russia still joins this war and the PLC now knows that he's been backstabbed by Russia. And of course they lost Russia and the DM who also joined, we'll get to that later. They couldn't save Bohemia, he was getting 3v1'd and they couldn't get to him. Although it seems Bohemia fought well at certain points and inflicted more casualties on them than they did on him. The peace deal is that the PLC retakes Peskov and also takes the colony of Don from Russia and the Danubians take Thuringia off of Bohemia. Now we get to the dual monarchy's intervention in this war, which will bring us on nicely to the war that's currently going on involving Italy after that. The Scandinavians might have you believe that the dual monarchy joining that war and not really being able to do anything was a rule violation of joining a war to avoid an upcoming declaration from Scandinavia and to abuse the fact that Bohemia declared for a low amount of war score, and of course the bit that's mostly against the rules, to get a truce. And this may very well be true. But the problem is, and this is why Scandinavia lost the later rule argument, he cannot prove that. 
because the dual monarchy is actually bordering Scandinavia there and there is a little bit of occupation and fighting. The dual monarchy can easily convince the GM that he was seriously joining this war even if his real intention was to get a truce. And with Burgundy not being in the war, that means that he'll be on a different truce and that is how you get a 1v1 with Burgundy. Burgundy didn't join that war against Bohemia because the Danubians, Scandi and the PLC are more than enough to take care of that. It blocks the dual monarchy from being able to do anything and apparently he also stayed out to avoid it looking like a big hug box. But despite those reasons for not joining the war, again not being on the same truce as your allies screws you over in Reno rules. This left Burgundy vulnerable to another attack from the dual monarchy with Scandinavia maybe being blocked on a different truce. And that's where I come in. It's important for you as a viewer to understand that everything I've just talked about, about that whole war, all the backstabs and everything going on, I had 0% knowledge of any of that in the game at the time. I was massively preoccupied at the time having just formed Italy, sorting out the country and dealing with these Ataturk jump scare Ottoman wars being declared on me. At the start of the video the Joe Monarchy said come down to my channel when you're ready to go to war. Well, two and a half years later in game, and one hour ten minutes later in real time, I finally did that and went down to his channel and told him I was ready to go to war, after building up what apparently was the largest professional army in Europe and forming my map and everything. And then he put his plan into action on how he was going to declare war on Burgundy. The dual monarchy used the game mechanics to prevent Scandinavia from getting any call to arms when he declared on Burgundy because he was technically still at war with Scandinavia when he declared on Burgundy and then Bohemia accepted the peace deal that he was holding. This move, which let's face it is actually quite scummy, is not prevented anywhere in the rules. The only thing that comes close is this rule about holding a peace offer. But then you can get into the whole rule argument and you could probably argue your way out of that really easily. But now the rule about not being able to declare on a player already in a war is coming round to benefit us this time unlike the War of the Scale issue. Scandinavia still has that casus belli on the dual monarchy that he was going to use after that Bohemia war and he could actually truce break with it. So if that rule didn't exist Scandinavia would easily be able to help Burgundy. And here's a random piece of trivia to make sure you've been paying attention viewers. If Scandinavia didn't have that acquire state casus belli on the dual monarchy, what casus belli does he have against either Italy or the dual monarchy here? He does have one. If you can figure it out, tell me in the comments. There's so much going on in this campaign, seriously. That must have been the longest analysis section, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This time there's a little announcement about Twitch. As of when this video comes out, there's going to be a new Victoria 2 live campaign starting on my Twitch channel. That's going to be starting one hour after the release of this video and then continuing weekly at the same time. But if you're watching this sometime in the future, that campaign's probably ended and you can tune in to my new Victoria 3 campaign live tomorrow. Anyway, thanks. Like the video, support the channel and goodbye. Have a nice day. That's all for today. Goodbye.